Welcome back guys, it's episode 3 and in our last episode we actually completed phase 1 and moved on to phase 2 with our project parts. Uh, phase 2 is where the game gets wide open and there's going to be a bunch more options to us that are available. Uh, if we go down here we're going to kind of make some plans on what we're going to be doing in today's episode. So we check out our new tier list. Uh, we have coal power, which is going to be our first set of automated power. Um, we pretty much can decide whether we're going to build a massive uh, coal plant that will kind of run everything for us for a while because it's going to be a long time before we actually get to fuel production uh, and this is pretty going to be our go-to power solution for the next uh, probably several several hours of this game we have vehicle transport which is going to allow us to kind of build our highways that we talked about in our first episode where we begin to connect all the resources that are kind of spread out in the grasslands and kind of get everything into one place and then our last main kind of feature that we have for of this is our basic steel production which is going to be our steel beams our steel pipes and kind of everything that we're going to need to move into mark three belts uh, and kind of everything that goes along with that uh, there's also some really cool stuff here we have the improved melee combat which is just kind of the xeno blaster um, we have the advanced steel production which is going to give our minor mark two which is going to help us out a ton especially because some of our nodes right now are only producing about 30 per minute which is way way too low we have expanded power infrastructure, which is going to be our power uh, towers, which I have never used. Um, I set them up very briefly in our last season, but I never actually did a video on them or kind of used them at all. And that's going to be really, really important for what we're about to do. Uh, and then, of course, we have all of our other little uh, bits and bobs around here. So we're going to make some decisions based off our factory of kind of what we're going to be doing in today's video. So now that we've kind of deduced what phase two actually is, if you break it down just into the simple process of you either have coal power, steel production, or your vehicle transport, there's really just kind of understanding where your factory's at and how you need to move forward. So what is the best thing that I can do immediately to help out this factory? Uh, if we look back into phase one and kind of understand how far we came with that, uh, we can get a better idea of where we need to look to next. So if we talk about our, um, our actual assemblers, which is our main focal point of phase one, we have already automated a lot of the stuff that we have already. We have unlocked modular frames, which is good, and we've kind of built those on the side, but it's not crazy important that we automate that immediately. Um, if we look at everything else, uh, we're pretty much set up very, very well. We're consuming about 200 and something power, I think. It's a lot to be running off of biomass burners. Vehicle transport would be good, but that requires um, a lot more stuff that I'm capable of producing right now. And really, if we were to add more resources into the factory we're going to need more power anyway so considering the fact that we're just at our limits with our power coal power is going to be the correct answer uh we're going to kind of go through our plan on how we're going to solve that today uh and i uh, hope you guys enjoy the video so in order to make any sort of plan on how we're going to handle this our first step is actually going to be able to send everything off so we'll put all this in here real quick oh, i need a little bit more and this will allow us to kind of actually check out our buildings and see what we're going to need to do so of course, we're going to switch off Ada because I can't stand listening to her. And then we're going to check out everything that just unlocked. All right, with our package sent off, we need to check out kind of the cost of everything and what we're going to need exactly. So if we go into here, we see our cold generators are requiring the reinforced iron plates and the rotors, which you do have a decent amount of. And it also is quite a bit of cables, but we're going to kind of see uh, how much we're going to need of that and kind of what we need to carry over there. Uh, the other thing that we're going to need for the coal power is going to be these water extractors, which require the copper sheets. I have made a little bit of those, but we're going to be kind of limited on that, especially here in the beginning. Uh, and making sure that that's going to be okay is going to be our main focal point on kind of everything that we need. So, in order to figure out how many of those we need, we need to figure out, one, where we're going. We need to figure out the resource deposits that are there. And the way we're going to do that is through the interactive map. So this is the interactive map, and if you're not familiar with it, um, I'm going to link it in the description below. You can kind of check it out. Uh, you can go through and filter through all the options of like gas board, hard drives, all that stuff, power selects, everything's on here. Uh, the main thing that we're looking for today is just these resource nodes. I do have iron selected, uh, and that's just so we can kind of get a better idea of where we're located at exactly if you're not familiar. Um, so we're actually down here in the grasslands, which are going to be at the bottom of the map. Uh, we know we have three of these iron right here this is where we have our assembler factory right here and we have these two up here uh this little gap right here and kind of the the canyon here is where you could tell where we're at just based off the resource nodes and kind of everything that's there uh here's that little lake that we've seen uh so we got a good idea of where we're at right here so our closest coal nodes are going to be this one right here and this one right here uh these are both pure which is really really good but the problem with that is that the water is very very far away um, we can kind of base the distance off of this. Uh, 
this is with the Milwaukee distance. I mean, it may take us about 20 seconds to get to. This is going to take you about two minutes. So this means we're going to have to either pipe or belt all this stuff here somewhere in the middle to get all of it together. This is a little bit closer right here. Uh, and this water right here is very, very small. So that's going to require a bunch of overclocking. Um, I may check this out, but that's realistically not where I want to go because I want to save this to use alongside this iron uh, ore here for the steel production. I think that would be best. Uh, our next option is right here, which I feel like is where we're probably going to be going. This is a place that I always end up building my coal factories whenever I'm in the grass, uh, grasslands. Um, we got all the coal here. It's four normals, and then we got the water here. There's plenty of water to kind of get everything that we need. So if we look at this, our normals for our Mark 1 miners are going to be 60. 60, so that means we got a total of 240 coal right here, uh, which we're going to break down the numbers right there. So now that we know what we're building, uh, we know where we're going, we can kind of get a better idea of how much we're going to need. So let me switch back over to Satisfactory real quick. So now that we're back on this menu... So now that we're back on this menu, we can kind of use this little plus feature here, uh, your to-do list, and you kind of click on this, and you can add as many as these. We know we have four nodes, so we're going to need four miners, and you can kind of see over here we're starting to get the resources of everything that we're going to need. Uh, then we go over here to our coal generators. So these take, um, if I can place one down real quick and show you, looking at the wrong buttons, because I might have my hands on the keyboard. So right here, uh, it's not going to tell you, it's 15 a minute. So I, I know that it's 15, it's going to be 15, so that means that one of these can do uh, 15 per minute and we have 240, which comes out to, I believe, 16 of these. So we're going to put 16 on here. That's going to kind of give us a good idea of what we need. Uh, and then it takes, I don't know why it tells you the consumption of the water, but not but this, probably because of petroleum, coke, and all that stuff. Don't worry about that, it's way later. Forget about all that. So if the consumption is 45 per minute, then we're going to need uh, at least half of these. So we're going to go with eight. Uh, I got to figure out the exact numbers. It might be less depending on what it is once I get over there. But eight sounds like a good number to me. So we're going to put that at eight. Um, and then this has been unfortunate because it only tells you that you need one, which is going to be not enough. Because obviously, we need a bunch more. So we can't really get a good idea on the belts that we're going to need. Um, we could do the pipelines, but the same situation where it tells you needs one copper sheet. So that's really not beneficial to us. But everything else, the main building is going to be the biggest part because it's very far away. And once we get over there, we're really not going to have the option to just run back and get a couple things. So we need to make sure that we have everything that we need before we leave. So this setup, we now have a really nice to-do list over here on the side. Right here, we can edit our to-do list and kind of see everything that's on here. Um, we're going to get everything that we need here. Uh, and then we're going to head on over there and hopefully we can get all this done today. So let's get into it. So just a little side note, as I'm kind of getting everything set up here, uh, in the MAM here, I went through the power slugs. I did collect a couple extra ones if you saw my inventory. Um, I've unlocked the yellow and the blue, so we find any of those along the way, we can kind of begin to overclock. Uh, this is going to allow us to kind of get into a lot higher production in our coal factory, and that way we won't have to go back over there and redo anything uh, later on. Uh, my goal is to just build a ton of power. Uh, it might be a two-episode thing, but we're going to get as much of it done as we can uh, and build this big power infrastructure, especially for the beginning of the game, where we don't have to worry about it ever again, or at least not for like maybe like 50 hours. Um, so that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to grab everything that we need, and I'll let you know if I have any updates. Okay, so we have everything that we're going to need. Our to-do list is completely filled, and I have extras to kind of help us build whatever we need to. So I'm got my fingers crossed and i'm hoping that i have everything that i could possibly need so that once i get over there uh, i should be okay um the biggest thing that i'm worried about right now is concrete ironically because i really can't hold a lot of it and this is honestly all i have anyway so we're gonna hope that this is good um actually i can probably make one more slot if i leave the chainsaw i'm probably not gonna need that anyway so we're gonna drive off the chainsaw and we're gonna take some other stuff uh i didn't build the portable miners for a reason uh because they don't stack and if I were to get rid of four of these just to fill out personal miners, that's really not worth it. Uh, I can just easily craft them once I get over there. So that's what I'm doing with that. If you have any questions, that's why I'm not building them. It's because I don't have enough space to even get the amount of materials that I need over there. Uh, I know that I stuck some random crap in here, but I'll get that fixed anyway. Just ignore that. That's our little secret. It's you and me forever. Nobody else is ever going to know about that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to start walking all the way over there, and uh, I'll let you know if I have anything wacky happen. I'm going to hopefully, if I can, I can find some hard drives along the way and try to get some alternative recipes. So let's get into it. 
All right, so we made it all the way over here to the coal stuff. Uh, and if you're going to do what I'm doing, which um, you definitely can. It's possible. I just did it. But make sure you have plenty of uh, plenty of food because this little dinky little jabber thing is definitely not good enough to fight what's over here. Uh, especially some of the bigger dudes. So make sure you have the health because you can get messed up pretty quick over here without the Xeno Blaster. So just be extra careful. You can definitely sneak around a lot of stuff. I didn't need to fight nearly as much as I did. But uh, just if you're going to try to do this, definitely be careful. So we have our four nodes. We're going to start off with just uh, one of here, or one of these nodes, just to try to get everything set up. Uh, we're going to bring that over this way, and then we're going to belt it down. Uh, we don't want to kind of make a flat thing here and try to lift the water, because lifting liquids is a big old pain. So we got the water down here. We're going to put a miner here and kind of work our way down and get all this started. So really simple, all we're going to do is start off with a big platform. I just kind of hooked it up to the world grid up there, and then ran a little ramp down. This will be how we're going to get all of our stuff, and just kind of a way for me to get back up. Uh, the water is real simple, it's just down here. Uh, that's not a big deal. This lake is big enough to where I can kind of build what I want to build without having to worry about using all the lake. Uh, so I should be fine to kind of place my water extractors maybe at the end of this. Uh, depends on how uh, many of these... Uh, cool generators I can get lined up next to each other with uh, 10 foundations. So yeah, all I did was just zoop them all the way down and get a nice platform set up for us to get started. Uh, we're going to get into it here. So I have made some progress. I've been kind of working on everything. I So I have made some progress and I've kind of, you kind of see I've done a little bit, but I pretty much made this little archway here to kind of get uh, the coal from up there down here as opposed to just running it all along this weird stuff here. Um, just kind of help me out. I don't know if I'm going to go all the way over top and maybe I'll do like a little catwalk thing and I can kind of, uh, feed it down from up there with some splitters. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to handle that, but, uh, I'll kind of get around to that. Uh, when placing these coal generators, if you want to do this way faster and make sure they're lined up right, uh, if you just hold control, you can just click on them really, really easy and they'll kind of snap to the side automatically. And then you fall in the water and you get stuck over here because I've been just too high. Uh, but there's a little tip for you. I'll be back in a second once I get out of the water. With these requiring 15, it's always good to place these coal generators in terms of four. Personally, I like to do eight, but you can do 12, 16, whatever you want. Uh, I just think doing it in eights is kind of my favorite way to do it, and that's uh, how we're going to do it. So um, I do have two miners hooked up over there. Uh, so I set down an eight for right now, and we'll kind of place the rest later. We're going to place all the splitters. It's going to be really six, or really easy. It's just going to be 60 down to 15, which is like a four split. It really won't be that hard. Uh, I'll set all that up, and I'll kind of show you how we're going to do that in a second. And our power grid shut down, which is awesome, because I'm nowhere near it, and I can't fix that. So whatever's over there, uh, that's just going to be dealt with for now, and I'll kind of get back over there when I can. Uh, we're going to focus on getting this set up, and then hopefully once we get over there, we just hook everything up, and everything kicks back on. So we're going to ignore that for right now. We'll just forget about our other factory, because why does that matter? Um, we did hook this up, so it's really simple. It's two splitters, and then you have your main splitter here. So this is your 60 down to 30, and then 30 down to 15. And it's just going to be the pipes, which really won't be all that hard. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do the pipes here right now. Okay, so we have our pipes set up here. Uh, and all you have to do is just elevate these little supports uh, just twice. So oh, I like that. So there's your one click, and there's... This is your second click. Just like that. Um, this is too close. This is too close. And then if you go to your third one over here, this is right where you want it. Uh, you can kind of move it and do it however you like. There's plenty of different options there. So this is set up. And we're doing this in fours just to kind of make it simple. Uh, before I set up anything else, I want to jumpstart the system by getting power over here. Um, and that's going to be kind of difficult to do with just one little biomass thing. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to place our water extractors and kind of pipe the rest of this over here. Uh, and then we're going to get... Probably two of these biomass burners set up to where we can actually, um, I don't know what that was. That was loud. Uh, we're going to get all this set up with two of these to kind of jumpstart the system and get all the power running through here. And then once we have uh, a system isolated and running, then it's going to be easy to use that to jumpstart the rest of them down the line. So we're going to do that right now. And I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, so everything is hooked up and belted. Um, not the best, I'm going to be honest. It's, it's not great, but you know what? It's going to work, and that's what matters. Uh, so we have that all hooked up. The water's good. Uh, this is belted up here. Now all you need to do is place down our biomass burners, which is going to be a bit difficult because I didn't bring in a biomass because I was kind of trying to uh, just make as much room as possible for everything. So we're going to pick up some of this stuff, just enough to kind of get the coal down there. Uh, I'm going to run around and get as much of this as I can. I'll be back in a second. 
Woo. All right, so I have this stuff in here, and this is going to burn through this. So we're going to hope and pray that we can get enough coal. Uh, I'm probably going to... Actually, I can't. So we're just going to hope that we get enough of this down there. Uh, I do have this stuff I can put in here. Uh, that should help us out. Um, yeah. Okay, you know what? Here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull this stuff out of here. The power's going to shut off. But the belts keep moving, and this little bit can get down there and get into the system, and then the water is already over there, so it's just a matter of waiting for the cold to get all the way down here, uh, and then we're gonna try to start it up again. And hopefully that should be enough to kind of jumpstart it. So, give me one minute. And I just realized that this pretty much needs to be able to support the system just long enough to get the coal back down there. Uh, and I'm just gonna hope that that works, because I didn't really run this for that long, and uh, I don't think it's gonna work. But, there's only one way to find out, so we're going to hook everything up here real quick, and we're going to give it a try and see what happens. Alrighty, so we got this back on, and we do have our stuff kicking on down there very, very briefly, but the matter of the fact is, is it going to stay on until we get everything else down here? The answer is probably no, because it's already out. This is not good. And all this would have been totally fine if I would have just brought biofuel instead of one of these things. So I'm going to try to come up with a solution for this real quick. I don't know why I just didn't think of this to begin with, but I just switched uh, the wood into biomass. And now it gets down to a lot better numbers. So hopefully this will last uh, long enough to kind of get all this uh, set up down here. Um... I'm going to let this run, and hopefully I got this worked out now. So we did get this running. It's been running for a couple minutes here. We're up to 150. We do have some consumption drop-off, but that's realistically probably from the water extractors over there. Yeah, you can see that's that's yellow, but that's not a problem. Uh, the main focus right now is getting the rest of these upgraded, or the rest of these up and running. So we add the splitter line. I took this off to kind of focus just these two here to make it easier. If you have the full uh, split going on, it gets kind of uh, bad if there's any sort of uh, space in the belts. So if you really want to do this and jumpstart a little bit better than I just did, just focus on one of them. That'll be a lot easier. That way you can kind of make sure that's all running. Um, this is looking good. Uh, I got to make sure this is running. Yeah, so this is hooked up. This should be actually running right now. It is, so we're up to 300, so that's good. Uh, this is all good. We actually now have coal power, which is really, really awesome news. Um, I'm going to probably end the video here just simply because uh, I am completely out of resources that I need. Uh, these are all the iron plates I have left, and I'm going to have to go get a bunch more to actually just do the belting. Uh, I almost ran out just trying to get this stuff over here, and I've got four more of these too. So I think this is setting up, up great for uh, next week to do a really awesome video of just building uh, a egregious amount of coal production. Uh, so I do have some power nodes and stuff that I'm going to be using to overclock this. And I'm hoping, uh, with the way that I got this worked out, that I can kind of get this up to almost, uh, 2,000 power. Uh, definitely right off the beginning would be fantastic. And it's going to involve a pretty hefty coal project and getting some more stuff over here and doing everything that I need. Uh, that's going to be a pretty big video. So if you're looking forward to that, uh, make sure you like down below. If we hit 15 likes by the end of Friday night, I will post a bonus video Saturday, which is going to be me uh, working on this and kind of getting everything up. If not, um, I'll see you guys next Thursday. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.